Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the South Under 16 Women's Championship 2024. This is the match number four. Bangladesh is playing against India in this group match. The last time these two sides met in the 2023 edition, Bangladesh defeated India 1-0 in the Mustafa Kamal Stadium, Dhaka. That was the Under 17 Championship which was being held in Bangladesh only in Dhaka and Bangladesh with the runners-up in the five-teamed tournament. As the match starts, we have the main referee, Maya Lama from Nepal, who will be officiating alongside Irina Dhimal, Sonam Pelden and Meera Tamang. Both of the captains are exchanging the souvenirs, the flags. The captains, as we can see, Girl from Haryana, Shweta Rani, will be leading her team. And Arpita Vishwas from Bangladesh, two of the sides. You can see the lineups on the screen. Bangladesh has the following players in the starting 11. Here's in Begum, jersey number 22, number 5, Arpita Vishwas, number 2, Shivli Roy, number 3, Arifa Akhtar, number 4, Mariam Bintahana, number 6, Kranu Mama. Number 7, Sati Munda. Number 9, Alpi Akhtar. Number 10, Srinui Marma. Number 11, Fatima Akhtar. Number 20, Suravi Priti. And the India's lineup is like this. Surajmani Kumari in the goal. Sveta Rani, the captain. Just in number 11, number 2, Divyani Linda. Number 3, Elena Sarang Them. Number 4, Elizabeth Lakra. Number 5, Rupashri Munda. Number 6, Thandamuni Baske. Number 8, Bonifilia Shulai. Number 9, Anushka Kumari. Number 10, Longajam Nira Chanu. Number 14, Pearl Fernandez. Both of the teams stay intact as they have zero changes in their starting 11. Bangladesh defeated the Nepali team 2-0 in the previous fixture, whereas India defeated Bhutan 7-0. It seems that as if it's the final before the final as both of the title contender teams are going against each other. India... Look to be the favourites are going against the Bangladeshi team. Bangladesh has only trained for a month in Dhaka in the BFF Academy. The former national team player, AKM Saiful Bari Titu, is the head coach. And the inner team is being led by another former, tip, former player of the Indian national men's team, Bibi Thomas Mutha. Both of the teams have the opportunity to go to the finals. Both of the teams have three points in their bag. Nepal open their accounts in the group stage as they won against Bhutan in the previous fixture, 3 0. Maya Lama is ready to start the match with a whistle. Match commissioner today is. Bindu Dorje and Rifty Assessor is Bina Shrestha from Nepal. And the match kicks off. India in blue, Bangladesh in their red jersey today. India came third in the 2023 edition of Under-17 Women's Staff Championship. Bangladesh were the second team. Whereas Russia went, went to be the champions. Of that very tournament. Now, the very first attack by the Indian team. On the left hand side. Any of the players today were in the score sheet. Last time around, the previous match against Bhutan. That was a comparatively easier fixture, but this will be a real test for Bangladesh as they will be going against one of the contenders of this tournament, the Bangladeshi team, being led by. Coach Titu, Saifil Bari Titu, is leading this team. He has been with the men's team as well. And he has been the coach of lots of Bangladeshi teams in the Bangladesh Premier League. Trying to play from the back, the Bangladeshi team. Might have been a handball. The referee tried to play the advantage. It's going to be a free kick. Bangladeshi team. 
which won against Nepal in the previous fixture. Filled with confidence, and we can see that very much evident in this match. Taking control of the match, both of the teams are playing 4 4 2. They will be trying to bring their wingers into the play. Bangladesh. Are in the back foot right now. Shweta Rani scored a goal, an assisted one in the previous fixture. She was subbed off in the second half. Maybe just to play in this match, maybe a safety measure taken by the coach to keep her ready for this very match. India in the back foot right now. In the forefront is Bangladesh trying to go front to the front. It was Alpi Akhtar. The goalkeeper controls it easily. Surajmani Kumari, she's from Jharkhand herself. A couple of players in the starting 11 from Jharkhand Anushka Kumari, Vivyani Linda, and Suraj Muni Kumari. This player from the Jharkhand state. Once again, it was an attack. Bangladesh, Bangladesh looked to be filled up with energy. They will try to prove their worth against the strong Indian team. These two sides met in the 2023 edition where Bangladesh were the victorious team. In 2022, India did not participate in that category of SAF tournament. Once again, Bangladesh trying to go forward. A bit of confusion there between the Indian players. Once again, Bangladesh trying to go forward. Good perseverance there by the Bangladeshi team. They're pressing high. And Indian defense is struggling at the back. They're trying to get it out from that area. It's because of the high press of the Bangladeshi team, they have not been able to do that. You can see the pressing in the narrow ends in the far flanks. It's going to be a throw-in for Bangladesh. A slight bit of touch there by the Indian defender. Four minutes gone. Bangladesh are pressing very high. From the very first minute, India with the ball. It's Pearl Fernandez. She scored two goals in the previous game. Pearl Fernandez switches on to the left hand side, trying to find the captain Shweta Rani. Just for the linesman to raise the flag. Shweta Rani, the girl from Haryana. She scored one and assisted one in the previous match. Bangladesh. They were second in the 2022 edition as well. And Nepal were the champions. And they were second in the previous tournament in 2023. The tournament was held in Dhaka. Trying to attack from the right hand side. Arifa Akhtar with the right back. Bangladesh are emphasizing more on the right hand side as we can see she is trying to bring Saki Munda into the play she has tremendous pace it can be a headache for the Indian defenders you can see the Indian head coach Bibi Thomas giving some instructions to his players India trying to come out from the crowd. A switch on to the right hand side. Neera Chanu from the right hand side. Neera trying to be composed, trying to find her teammate, her partner on the right hand side, the right back. As we can see, a former player in the national team. Now coach of India. Bibi Thomas Muta was there. And also, 
Saiful Baritetu, also a former national player of, of his time. He has been an experienced coach in the Bangladesh Super League as well. Coaching the likes of Sheikh Jamal and Mohammed and Sporting. And he was here in Nepal in 2011 where his team eventually won the 2011 Pokhara Gold Cup. That was with Sheikh Jamal. Once again, Bangladesh regained the ball. It's Sati Munda switching on to the left hand side, trying to find a teammate, Fatima Akhtar. Fatima couldn't get gather the ball. And India trying to go front again. bit of rash defending there by the Indian defender could have been a bigger problem for India in the defense Nepal Bangladesh and India are tied up in three points but as of now as the match has started India are with four points and Bangladesh are with four Both of the teams who are contenders of this tournament. And this match can be the final before the final. India is playing against Nepal in the final fixture, whereas Bangladesh will be playing against Bhutan. Bangladesh has lost two of the first two fixtures against Nepal and India. Bhutan, that is, Bhutan has lost the first two fixtures. Bangladesh has won the very first fixture against Nepal. A shot blocked by the Indian defender. Another shot and that's a goal. Out of the blue, Bangladesh score. And it is a calamity for the Indian team. This was not in the script. This was not expected. As India go behind in the very first minute there, very first 10 minutes, it was a shot, could have been easily saved by the goalkeeper, Suraj Mani Kumari, with the error, and India has to pay, pay the price for her mistake. A very sensitive position to play at. Being a goalkeeper, you have to make everything correct. And she slightly missed the elevation of the ball. Her anticipation was incorrect. And she has to pay the price herself. It's Bangladesh 1, India nil. India. Are in the front foot right now. They want to come back to the game as soon as possible. Whereas Bangladesh might utilize this opportunity. It was not that much of a tremendous attempt there by the Bangladeshi team. It was a free kick which was clear back. And the rebound. Mariam Binta. confirm the name of the player but it seems as if Mariam Binta was the goal scorer it was a free kick which was utilized Bangladesh are in the lead. 
Some calls for the penalty. The referee says no. Once again, India are in the back foot. Bangladesh go in front with the lead. Bangladesh with a better gameplay today. They have the ball. Majority of the period. From the right, it's going to be Bangladesh. Suravi Akanda. And it was a shot by Sathi Munda. This was the opportunity for Bangladesh. And that was a shot by the defender, Mariam Bin Tahana. It was definitely a good shot, but could have been saved there by the goalkeeper. We will confirm the name of the goal scorer. But then again, it's Bangladesh. And we can confirm it's Alpi Akhtar for Bangladesh. Who was the scorer? We apologize for the late announcement. Once again, it's Bangladesh with the corner. Fatima Akhtar. In the corner this time, the goalkeeper might squander it again, but the Indian defender clears it out. Bangladesh with the ball once again. Combination play being made with the Bangladeshi team. And it's an offside call there by the referee. Once again, Bangladesh defending the Indian attack. Play on, says the referee. From the right, it's Neera Chanu. It's Alpi Akhtar with the goal. She put her team in front. Going forward is India, but once again, they are not so confident in the final third. As you can see, they have to pay the price. India looked like the better team on the papers as they won 7-0 against Bhutan. Bangladesh take the lead. In the very first 10 minutes. <coughs> Once again, Bangladesh trying to double their lead. The goalkeeper comes up front. But this time, she's lucky enough to gather the ball again as she already had dropped it. Nobody was there on the rebound. Suraj Muni Kumari from Jharkhand. Bangladesh pressing the opposition team in the final third. And India have been limited in their opportunities. Need some motivation from their head coach. And India, as you can see, a push behind. Bangladesh, on the other hand, have been confident in their gameplay. Clearance there by Bangladesh defender Elizabeth Lakra with the clearance. Nira Chanu trying to find the ball. Shivani Roy 
was there to defend. It's going to be a throw-in for Bangladesh. Bangladesh were the champions in 2017. After that, they have not been able to win it. The 2017 edition, which was held in Bangladesh only, the time of December and they defeated Nepal 6-0 and they also defeated Bangladesh also defeated India in the finals in that very edition that was a through ball there by the Bangladeshi midfielder Sathi Munda India trying to gather their confidence. It's a through ball trying to go forward is Pearl Fernandez. Nira Chanu comes into play from the right hand side. Nira with the shot. A good bit of goal keeping there by Yersen Begum. She was just behind the ball, confident enough to catch it. You can see it in the replay. Nira Chanu got the opportunity. Longajam Nira Chanu, she's from Manipur. Can be a dangerous player from India. Bangladesh with a bit of com combinations in the midfield area. You were watching Sportsworks YouTube channel. The broadcast of the South Under 16 Women's Championship is being brought to you live from. Sat Dubato and for complex. And if you want to follow this tournament, Safana 16 Women's Championship, then you can kindly subscribe and you can also hit the notification bell as you will be notified if we come live from our channel. Bangladesh, meanwhile, is leading 1 0 against India. India, who are supposedly the favourites, are now behind in this game. Nepal won the previous fixture against Bhutan. They won 3 0. All the three goals were scored in the first half. Plenty of first half goals in this tournament. As India was also a big lead in first half of the previous match. Shweta Rani. Will control it properly. Now India on the attack. It's Bonifilia Shulai. Tondamani Baski switches on to the right hand side to Nira Chanu. Bangladesh trying to go forward now. Ranuchin Karma switching on to the left hand side. Cleared there by Indian team from the right hand side. It's India finding. Anushka Kumari, Anushka who scored three goals in the previous match. She is a dangerous player from India. And the Bangladeshi defenders need to sustain her. Otherwise she can be dangerous in the forward area. From the long rangers, from the close ranges, she can be dangerous. India have won this tournament twice, this age group of tournament, as they were the winners in 2018 and 19. Good bit of goalkeeping there by the Bangladeshi goalkeeper. We can see, we can hear some support from the spectators for Bangladesh. The referee says play on. Trying to move forward, the Bangladeshi team once again. They have been the dominant team. India, twice the winners of this age group tournament. They have been the winners in 2018 and 19. Both of the tournaments which were held 
ไม่พูดจาน The 2018 edition of SAF Under 15 Women's Championship, which was held in Bhutan in Thimphu. Once again, a shot there by the Bangladeshi player, the goalkeeper this time, manages to get it in her grip. She does not want to repeat her mistake. And India trying to go forward, it's Sweta Rani winning the ball. Pearl Fernandez. Shweta gathers the ball, Shweta trying to cross it. Shweta with the cross, Neera Chanu was expecting the ball in the far end. Anushka trying to feel in Neera Chanu. You can see Anushka trying to move forward, trying to make some impact. Another shot there above the crossbar. Could have been dangerous for the Bangladeshi team. You can see Neera with the perseverance. A good cross there and a good clearance there by the Bangladeshi Defender. Yes, in Begum. She has not been put up into that many tests there by the Indian team. Bangladesh trying to go forward once again. From the right, it's Bangladesh again. Sati Munda. Sati was there. On the right hand side. She has been a dangerous player for Bangladesh. Bangladesh were the winners. In 2017. They won the first match against Nepal 6-0 in the 2017 edition. Once again, Bangladesh gathering the ball, trying to compose themselves again as India are turning up their volumes, they're turning up their game. This can be a competitive fixture. Safety first there by the Indian defender Elena Devi Sarangthem from Manipur. Bangladesh trying to go forward from the left hand side. Across there, trying to find her teammate, perhaps. Fatima Akhtar was playing on the left hand side. India, who are trailing by one goal, they have to better their game. They have to take some risks, perhaps. They have to sort out this game tactically. Once again, Bangladesh trying to go forward. Lack of communication there by there between the two Bangladeshi players. India can take and take the advantage here. Anushka Pearl Fernandez is here gathering the ball. Shweta switches on to the right hand side. Anushka once again. Anushka Kumari was there. But she couldn't capitalize on the opportunity. Bangladesh trying to gain control of the game once again good combinations there by the Bangladeshi players Might be the commentators curse there they try to be lost the ball once again India trying to go forward
As you can see, B.B. Thomas is frustrated. He wants more from, from his team. India loses the ball. It's the captain, Arpita, trying to find her teammate. But once again, India regained the ball. Slowly growing in confidence is the Indian team. As we can see, they are progressing more and more into, into the opposition half. Neera Chanu trying to find a teammate. Once again, India on the break from the left-hand side. It's the captain, Shweta Rani. Too much for her, maybe. broadcast we are live from Saad Dabato. Bangladesh is leading by one goal India They're trailing in this game once again Bangladesh trying to go forward from the right hand side are being made from the left hand side it's the captain Shweta Rani trying to collect the ball trying to save the ball from going out she couldn't do so it's going to be a throw in for Bangladesh the half hour mark has crossed and it's 1-0 for Bangladeshi team India are leading Bangladesh are leading right now. The half hour mark has crossed.
Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the South Under 16 Women's Championship. Bangladesh and India are playing in this group match in Bangladesh. Leading by one goal. India are trailing in this moment. Five minutes left for the end of the first half. It was the jersey number nine from Bangladesh who scored the goal. Alpi Akhtar. India who won the first half. India won the first match against Bhutan. 7 nil. Nepal lost to Bangladesh 2 nil in the previous fixture. The referee for today is Maya Lama. You can see as it's throwing from the right hand side. Bangladesh. Bangladesh are in the lead. Elena clearing the line once again. Nepal will play the next picture against India. This tournament is being held from 1st to 10th of March. Bangladesh on the top of the table as of now. Until India can do something in this match. Throwing for India from the right hand side. Trying to go forward is India. Bangladesh trying to defend their lines. India trying as hard as possible to go up front. India moving forward. They're giving everything. To level the match now with Saf under 16 championship in Kathmandu. Bangladesh going forward again. And we are live from Sportsworks YouTube channel. We apologize for the inconveniences being made in the broadcast right now. It's the match number four. India against Bangladesh. You can see it in the replay. Was a foul. The referee didn't raise the flag. At that very moment, she raised the flag very late, and that too in the favour of Bangladesh once again. Bangladesh trying to go up front. Alpi trying to move forward again. Alpi, who was the goal scorer? There will be two minutes of added time. Two minutes added by the fourth official. Meera Tamang. From the right hand side. Bangladesh. Trying to attack again. 
cross inside the box. Bangladesh once again. And ball there by the forward and it's going to be a free kick for India. India look to be in urgency. But they might have started the ball from a bit further. India with a free kick moving forward trying to level the match trying to come back into the equation once again Bangladesh in the back foot now Neera Chanu attacking and Mushka who was the hat-trick girl last time out she has not been able to create any opportunities up until now Whistle there by the referee. Might have been some problem there. Neera Chanu is in a bit of a problem there. Neera Chanu, who was an extra excellent performer last time out against the match between Bhutan. Game will start from a drop ball as the match was stopped by Mayat Lama. A through ball there for Neera Chanu. Clearance there by the goalkeeper. Long clearance for that matter. Once again, India regaining the ball. It's Ponifilia Shulai. And with that, it's the end of the first half. Bangladesh leading by one. The goal from Alpi Akhtar. Just in Amanai. India who are trailing by one goal. They have to work harder. To give themselves any chance to qualify for the final. And if they do not manage to do so, they will have the final important fixture against Nepal to get to the finals. It's the halftime in the South Under 16 Women's Championship. Match number four, Bangladesh and India. It's the halftime score, Bangladesh one and India nil.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the South Under 16 Women's Championship 2024. It is the Anfa Complex Stadium in Kathmandu. It's the match number four. Bangladesh Under 16 Women's Team is taking on the Under 16 Women's Team of India. Bangladesh are leading by one goal. The goal was scored by Alpi Akhtar, the striker from a free kick. But perhaps we can say it was a long shot as it was a rebound collected there by Alpi Akhtar. Bangladesh, who won the first fixture against the home team. It was a 2-0 victory against the Nepali team in India. Won with a 7-0 margin. The last time these two sides met in the 2023 edition, Bangladesh defeated India 1-0. In the single round robin group stage in 2023, it was the month of March when these two sides met in the BSS Mustafa Kamal Stadium. But this time around, it's the Enfa Complex Stadium in Kathmandu. And it looks like as if it's the, sco the score is going to be the same. The halftime, the second half kicks off. End of the half time and India have to come back from this deficit. Bangladesh leading by the goal from Alpi Akhtar. Bangladesh were the champions of the 2017 edition, which was held in Dhaka only. And in 2022 and 23, they came second. In 2023, they came second only to Russia as the tournament was in collaboration with UEFA. It's a 46 minute India They're trailing by one goal. Bangladesh is playing 4-4-2 and India is also playing 4-4-2. Both of the teams are based on the flank attack strategy. Bangladesh have been the successful one by far. But the goal came from an open play. The set pieces have not been utilized enough. Bangladesh trying to move forward from the right now. India, who have been the most successful team in this category, in this age group, as they were two-time champions in 2018 and 19. Seemed like a handball there by the Indian player. Once again, Bangladesh are in front. Trying to attack is Thandamani Baske. Trying to switch on to the left-hand side, Shweta Rani. It's Fatema Akhtar. Caught in the knee. The Bangladeshi player... Maya Damang, Maya Lama spots it. You can see it in the replay. It was a foul there by the Bangladeshi player. India will get the free kick. India were third in the 2023 edition. And they did not participate in the 2022 edition. She was held in Bangladesh. And they were champions last time in 2019 as they defeated Bangladesh in penalties. The tournament which was happening in Chamlimitang Stadium, Bhutan. And they were comfortable victors in 2018 as they defeated Bangladesh 1-0 in the finals to be the victors. Once again, Bangladesh trying to go forward from the right-hand side. Their combinations being made. It's an interception there by the Indian midfielder. You can see India have raised their spirits and Bangladesh are in the back foot. The majority of the periods, this was a risky pass played there by the Bangladeshi goalkeeper. Shweta Rani collects the ball. Again, 
Bangladesh trying to go forward. It's going to be a throw-in for Bangladesh from the right hand side, as you can see the board. It's the South Under 16 Women's Championship being held in Sadhubatu in the Lalitpur district. Again, India trying to go forward. Bangladesh recollects the ball. Clearance there by Indian defender. On different occasions, Bangladesh has been the victorious team as Bangladesh defeated India in the 2017 final. Once again, India trying to attack. Ambitious attempt there by the forward. Easy for the goalkeeper Yazan to collect. Yazan Begum. She has not conceded a single goal. Up until now, at least. Last time out, Bangladesh faced Nepal in the first fixture. India trying to attack. In the creative area, it's. Neera Chanu from the right hand side. Neera with the cross. Didn't get the right measurement with the ball. Neera Chanu. She wears jersey number 10 for a reason. Trying to play from the right hand side. Neera Chanu. The girl from Manipur. Longer jam, Neera Chanu. And it is an advantage for Bangladesh. But perhaps it's an advantage for India. Can get something from the set piece, the Indian team. Shivuli Roy will be leaving it for. Viviani Linda was there. She's leaving it for Elena Devi. Sarang Them. Alina might put a cross there inside the box. Alina Devi, Sarang Them. In the free kick area, India can come back fighting once again. Alina with the cross, a header there. Once again, opportunity for India. Linda in the D box. A shot there. It's the crossbar. India are very, very much unlucky. They are trying to fight back. They have not given up hope. Showing their character, the Indian girls. But this time, they were rather unlucky. The free kick there by the defender, Elena Devi. It was the shot there by Shweta Rani. Couldn't find the back of the net once again. It's India again from the right hand side. It's going to be a corner from the right now. The Indian girls are fighting back. They do not want to be in the losing end. Corner kick from the right hand side. Shweta Rani with her left foot. She's trying to provide an assist. A good cross there. Could be a header. Couldn't find it. The defender, Elena Devi Sarangtham, was a good opportunity there for the Indian team. Bangladesh are lucky to escape this rapid attack there by the arch rivals Bangladesh. Arch rivals India. India once again. Divyani Linda. Mira Chanu releases Divyani on the right hand side. It was too heavy for her to control in the far flank. It's going to be a goal kick. India. 
being led by former national player. B.B. Thomas, you can see him in the technical area. Bad touch there by the midfielder, Karan Kranuching Marma, who's there to lay it off for her teammate. It's going to be a throw in from the right hand side. Combinations are being made. What is not as proper, Anushka fighting for the ball. Could be a dangerous scenario for the Bangladeshi defenders. Indian players are attacking one after the other. Anushka with the cross, a good ball there. Could be a problem and it's a goal there by Anushka. As we say, fortune favours the brave. This time out, the brave girls were lucky enough to score. And it's a leveller there by the Indian team. Bangladesh won, India won. Anushka perhaps was looking for her teammate, but rather finds a goal. And the Indian team are level with the Bangladeshi girls. A bit of luck there for Anushka, the one who scored the hat-trick against Bhutan in the earlier match. The ball just went in, hitting the post. And Anushka brings her team right back. Substitution for Bangladesh, jersey number 11, Fatima Akhtar is replaced by jersey number 21, Resme Akhtar. Bangladesh to the Hwaka, Khiladi Parivatan Hwakasa, jersey number 8, Fatima Akhtar Kastanma, jersey number 8, Resme Akhtar, Maidan Bavis, Gondar Hwakasa. There's a substitution for Bangladesh as Resme Akhtar has come on for Fatima Akhtar. The lead is Anushka with the shot. This was a cross, maybe. Just went in, hitting the bar. Anushka Kumari getting the equalizer. Bangladesh on the attack once again. Just for the Indian defenders to clear it for a corner. As you can see in the scoreboard, it's 1 1. Approaching the hour mark. The game is getting intense. Anushka once again. With the goal for her team. And this time in a very, very vital moment. Bangladesh trying to get back. Alpi, the goal scorer. Alpi with a wonderful cross there. A shot there by the Bangladeshi player. Alpi Akhtar could have done a little bit more. She couldn't beat the first defender. A substitution, therefore, the Bangladeshi team, Resmi, has come on for Fatima in the left wing. Might be a tactical change there by the Bangladeshi coach. As Bangladesh is looking for another goal to go up front again. Go in front. From the right hand side is Bangladesh from the right it's Sati Munda. Long ball there inside the box. Easily collected there by the goalkeeper. You're watching this live from Sportsworks YouTube channel. You can kindly subscribe to this channel. And catch all the action of the South Under 16 Women's Championship. And held in Satubatu and for technical center. Throwing the Indian team Anushka once again across there for Shweta. Couldn't 
calculate the elevation of the ball. Shweta Rani might have put her team in front. India attacking once again. It's Neera Chanu from the right. Neera. Anushka on the support. Anushka with a shot. This time the goalkeeper gets her grip on the ball. The match is getting intense as we are approaching the hour mark. Both of the teams have scored one goal each. And it's an end-to-end -end match. Either of the teams do not want to lose. And they want the three points to get to the finals. The winner of this match will have a strong hold of the group stage and will most probably go to the finals. From the left hand side, it was a throw in from India. And once again, India. To be the favorites, they are attacking. Time after the other from the left hand side, it's India. Bangladesh. And the back foot right now, India. Seem to be the progressive team here. India has started the second half very brightly. And they have been rewarded with a goal. It's going to be a substitution. This time for Bangladesh. And it is... Alina coming on for Kranuching Morma. Staying in the midfield. Bangladesh, Bangladesh desperately needed fresh legs running in the midfield. A good change there by Saiful Bari Titu. From the right hand side, it's Bangladesh once again trying to find India on the break. Almina trying to get a first touch. India look resolute in the defense. They do not want to concede. Another goal. The first goal was a bit lucky for the Bangladeshi team as it could have been an easy save there for the goalkeeper. Bangladesh trying to attack from the right. It's Bangladesh. Sati Munda trying to use her pace. It's going to be a throw-in for India. Clash of the bodies. Clattering with the players. Sati Munda and Rupashri Munda. Rupashri Munda is from Odessa. She's playing in the left-back position. She has held her ground when needed. Bangladesh trying to attack from the right once again. It's across inside the box, or perhaps a little bit outside the box. India. Pressing up front. Bangladesh regained the ball from the left. It's going to be Bangladesh. It's Captain Alpi. Alpi Akhtar. Could keep the ball inside the line and it's going to be a corner kick for Bangladesh. Interestingly, the goal scorer Alpi comes for the corner from the left can deliver a delicious cross Alpi with the cross once again Bangladesh trying to go up front combinations are being made it's a recently incoming player 
Almina. The flag has already been raised. So Rabi Preeti couldn't find the right area. This was the replay. Akhtar trying to find a teammate. India looking dangerous once again, pressing the opponent in the opposition D box. Neera Chanu providing the pressure to the opposition defenders. Once again, India from the right hand side. It's Viviani Linda Neera Chanu crossing inside the box. This could be a dangerous situation for Bangladesh. Good job there by Yerjan Begum. Yerjan Begum was confident enough to collect the ball. Neera Chanu once again lifting it for her teammate on the left hand side, Shweta Rani, the captain. Bangladesh might find India on the break once again. But this is going to be a th throw in. Asati Munda couldn't control the ball. Bangladesh are on the back foot right now. Pearl Fernandez. We've seen a very dismal game from Pearl Fernandez today. She has been involved minimally in this match from the left hand side. It's the captain, Alpi Akhtar. He was the goal scorer. This is a free kick. The Bangladeshi team, Alpi Akhtar, will be taking the free kick herself. 65 minutes gone, both of the teams are level. Alpi with a cross. Switch on to the right hand side, it's a header. Wonderful save this time by the goalkeeper, Suraj Muni Kumari. seems like is she has learned her lesson from the previous mistake Neera Chanu trying to move forward Neera battling for the ball India look to be the team on the run this was an opportunity for Bangladesh. You can see the replay on your screens. Alpi with a wonderful ball. A header there by the Bangladeshi player. Perhaps it was Arpita Vishwas. It may be Mariam Binita Hanna. Mariam with the ball this time. India trying to go forward again from the left hand side. It's India attacking. It's going to be a throw in. Most probably, yes, it's a throw in. India look to be the team in the run as they have been ferocious in the past 10 minutes. Paul Fernandez gathers a ball, but it was already a foul throw there by her teammate. A lot of foul throws being seen in this tournament. Another attempt there by the Indian player. From the right, it's Linda. Viviani Linda. Good throw in to Anushka, the goal scorer. 
Anushka once again trying to beat the defender. And the defender, Mariam Bintahana, clears the ball. And it's going to be a corner kick for India. It's the captain, Shweta Rani, coming to take the set piece with her powerful left foot. Shweta with the cross. A good ball there. Could be it. another opportunity. And this time, the goalkeeper saves it. She might be injured in the process. Good cross by Shweta. And it was Anushka once again who hit the opposition goalkeeper's head in the process. Years and Begum seems to be in a bit of a problem. As things stand, India and Bangladesh are both with four points. Both of them, both of the teams have the opportunity to go to the finals. India is playing against Bhutan in the final match. I beg your pardon. India is playing against Nepal in the final match. And Bangladesh is playing against Bhutan in the final match. India has already played against Bhutan. They were the winners comfortably with a 7 0 win. Whereas Bangladesh won against Nepal with a 2 0 victory. It's a bad defending there by the Bangladeshi player. Pearl Fernandez progressing for the ball. Neera Chanu. Controlling the ball. Linda with the cross. A wonderful cross into the left-hand side. Shweta Rani. Anushka with the shot. Trying to catch the ball on the full volley. She couldn't connect it properly. A bit of curve needed maybe. Perhaps she could have executed it from her outside foot. But this time she was unlucky. India. Are putting on the pressure. A handball there by the Bangladeshi player. 20 minutes left. Can there be a climax in this match? India trying to end the match positively in their favor. Anushka once again. A shot there by the Indian player straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. No problem whatsoever for years and Begum this time. Yerzan has been put on test a couple of times there by the Indian players. This was rather a simple catch for her. It's the South Under 16 Swimming Championship in Saddubatu and for Technical Center and for Complex. It's the fourth match of this tournament. And if you want to follow this tournament, then you can kindly subscribe to our channel, Sportsworks. We will be bringing you all the live in action from South Under 16 Women's Championship from Nepal. India once again. Trying to find an opportunity there in the final third. Neera Chanu probably tried to feed her teammate Shweta. Regains the ball, the captain. Shweta Rani who has been one of the most experienced players in this team. As she participated in the under-17 Asian Cup qualifiers. Shweta Rani, and she is handed the captain's armband. Once again, it's India trying to go forward. Anushka with the ball. It's a shot there by the defender, or perhaps a... Uh, Pass there for Neera Chanu. Neera, who was expecting the ball but couldn't control it. 17 minutes left. Who will be the winner? The crowd. 
as we can see always they are excited to experience this competitive match between the two strong teams of the tournament the voices we are hearing we can assume most of the supporters are supporting bangladesh here and it's interesting to see some of the nepali players are supporting bangladesh some of the nepali supporters are supporting bangladeshi players Once again, Bangladesh trying to go forward. It's going to be a opportunity for Bangladesh. Tinui Marma was there. Bangladesh looked to be a progressive team in the past few minutes, but India can come right back. It's Neera Chanu chasing the ball. going to be a throw in probably for bangladesh yes it's a bangladesh throw in activity there in the indian team bench anushka trying to beat a defender it's one one here at anfa complex sat the battle lalitpur linda loses the ball Bangladesh losing the grip of this match but as India are piling up the pressure now it's Bangladesh once again from the right it's the forward Sathi Munda Sathi trying to release it, release her teammate Alpi Akhtar the goal scorer Neera Chanu trying to find Pearl Fernandez Pearl trying to progress forward fighting the for the ball is Pearl Fernandez Pearl is trying to get the ball from the defenders but she couldn't do so another attempt there he missed it in real time maybe we can find the action in the replay you can see this was anushka the goal scorer a wonderful shot there a save there by the goalkeeper this definitely is a corner for india substitution for india as neera chanu comes off for anvita raguraman just number 15 anita coming on coming on for just number 10, Neera Chan. Across there, another save there by the goalkeeper. The clearance there by the Bangladeshi player. The game is getting intense in the final. 13 minutes, less than 13 minutes left. As the main referee, Maya Lama hands hand over hands over the ball, the throw in to India. India progresses again. A shot there by Indian forward straight into the hands of Years and Begum. She has been tested a couple of times. Most of the time she has been the winner in that test. But then again, Bangladesh come forward. It's an opportunity for Bangladesh. And they score it. Bangladesh take the lead once again. And this time, it is Sorobi Akanda Priti with the goal. Saw the gap, exploited it. And the Indian team are behind once again. It's the Bangladeshi players with the lead. This has been a competitive affair. With the blink of an eye, Bangladesh go forward and they score. So 
Bit of a miscommunication there between the defenders. Just for Surabi to exploit it. Surabi Akanda Preeti with a wonderful finish into the second bar. Goal for Bangladesh. Scored by Zero Silva. Suresh Minikumari had no answer from the shot from Surabi Akanda Preeti. They are the leaders once again. They are the team in front once again. Surabi Akanda Preeti was the goal scorer. Jersey number 20 from the right hand side. It's Bangladesh. Against the run of play, Bangladesh going front once again. India looked to be the team in command. But who would have thought that Bangladesh would score in that very period? 10 minutes and seconds left for this match. India need to have a reply as soon as possible. As they are losing their grip in this match. Anushka Kumari need another miracle from Anushka. Indian team to go forward. Linda with the cross. Bonifilia Shulai. Bonifilia lost the ball once again. Bangladesh on the break. It's a goal scorer. So Ravi Akanda Preeti. Combinations are being made. In the midfield, once again, it's Anushka. Good control there by Anushka. Trying to feed in her teammate, Anushka, once again. Anushka juggling past, dancing past the defenders. Just for the goalkeeper to save it easily, the shot from Anushka was not good enough. Maybe it was her weak foot that deceived her. She's a right footer. She has scored four goals in this tournament with that right foot. She's the leading scorer of this tournament, up until now at least. Attacking is the Indian team once again, Anushka. Switching on to the right, it's Linda with the cross. Or maybe not. Goal kick there for the Bangladeshi team. Substitution there for Bangladesh. A double substitution. And surprisingly, two of the players who came inside as a substitute are being subbed off once again. Almina came on in the second half. Has been subbed off once again for Anna Murtubiti to come in. And Rashmi, Rashmi just came in. For Nita Khatun is being replaced by, or let's say, Rishmi is being replaced by Momita Khatun. The ball slightly touches the referee and it's going to be a drop ball. As we can confirm the two changes. It's Reshmi coming off for jersey number 16, Momita Khatun. And Almina is coming off for jersey number 18, Gurleen. I beg your pardon, it's Anna Murthubiti. India on the attack. Combinations are being made. 
in the Indian team. Bonifilia Shulai trying to find a teammate. Bonifilia. It's all India. The past two, three minutes. Once again, Linda trying to go forward from the right. Linda controlling the ball once again. Outside the box, it's Bonifilia Shulai. Linda with the ball. Trying to progress forward. She had a bit of support there with Anushka on the far flank. He must be frustrated, B.B. Thomas. The possession was there with the Indian team but couldn't find the goal. But instead, it's Bangladesh who take the lead. Shweta Rani. going to be a goal kick for Bangladesh. Five minutes left. At the end of this match, maybe a couple of minutes will be added. <laughs> Once again, It's going to be an advantage for the Indian team. Once again. A free kick for India. Five minutes left for the end of the match. A lifted ball inside the box could be a header. Easily collected there by Yerzan Begum. She was in command inside a box. And if Yerzan can pull off a good performance in the last five matches, Bangladesh will be the victorious team. Bangladesh go up front, Tuni Marma lifting. The ball is Bangladeshi defender trying to go forward. Surabhiya Kanda Priti gathering the ball. She was way too good for the Indian defender. Earns a corner right in the last five minutes. Goal scorer Sorabi Akanda Priti. It's going to be a corner kick there by the Bangladeshi player. It's the recent entrant, Bithi. Anna Murtha Bithi, who will be taking this corner from the right hand side. The players are ready inside the box. Could be a killer goal for Bangladesh. Bithi with the cross into the far left side. And it's going to be an opportunity for Bangladesh. A good turn there by Captain Arpita. The captain of the team is Alpi Akhtar. Maybe not. Arpita Vishwas is the captain. I beg your pardon. And it is going to be a corner kick once again for Bangladesh once again. Three minutes left for the end of the match. Alina! Alina! As we can see the Nepali supporters are enjoying this match. Bithi with a corner once again from the left this time around. Bithi with the cross, a good cross. Could be another opportunity for Bangladesh and yes, it's the captain this time around. Bangladesh might be the team victorious. Good perseverance there by the Bangla girls. And they are again the goal scoring charts. It looked like the captain, or Pita Vishwas. It certainly 
India are in grave danger. Arpita Bishwas with the goal. And definitely it's going to win, be a win for Bangladesh. India are in a bit of a problem. They will have the final fixture with Nepal. And that can be the decisive fixture. Once again, Bangladesh from the right hand side. It's our Surabhi Akanda Priti. Dancing past the Indian defenders. Bangladesh once again go forward. Once again, a shot, a wonderful shot. Good save there by the goalkeeper this time. It was the recently incoming Momita Khatun with a wonderful, wonderful shot. An equally good save there by the goalkeeper. Arpita Preeti extending her side's lead. Bangladesh and India are going head to head right now. But Bangladesh will be the favourites. They are at the top of the league. There will be three minutes of added time. The group stage round. Minutes will be added. We will be confirming the minutes. Cross inside the box. Another header. So in there for the Indian team. Bangladesh surely have a great advantage in this match. So in there by Indian team once again trying to cut down the lead from Bangladesh. Once again, Bangladesh trying to go forward. Bangladesh will be elated with this victory. And they will book their place in the final if they can win the final fixture or at least draw the final fixture against Bhutan. It's going to be a substitution at the end, at the very end. Jersey number six is coming off. Thandamani Baske. Jersey number 19 is coming on. Anita Dung Dung. Cross there. Left. The Bangladeshi left forward. Alpi Akhtar. Trying to find another goal. She has already scored one. We're really, really close to the end. Seconds are left for the end of this match. Bangladesh are leading 3-1. Clearing the line is Bangladeshi team once again. India trying to give a fight back but it, I think it's too late to do so from the left trying to attack is India Ritu Badaik with the cross inside the box India trying to fight back Anushka with the shot this time. Easily collected there by the goalkeeper. Years and Begum. And this can be a delightful victory for the Bangla girls. And yes, this 
is one of the most important victories in this tournament as they have defeated their arch rivals India in this group stage match. Bangladesh win 3-1. Goal each by Surabhi Preeti Alpi Akhtar. And the captain. Bangladesh are the winners for today. Wonderful play there by the Bangladeshi girls team. For the majority of the game, India looked to be the favourites as they had most of the possession, most of the opportunities, but they couldn't capitalise on their chances and they have to pay a hefty price for it. Bangladesh are the winners for today and they have one foot into the finals as they have a comparatively easier team, Bhutan in the final fixture, whereas India will be playing against Nepal in the final fixture. The fate of the teams will be decided in the final round. Bangladesh will be the happy team for today. On the contrary, India will be disheartened despite a wonderful performance, despite and you can see Nepali supporters congratulating the Bangladeshi players. This is a delightful sight to see. And that was the match for today in the South Under-16 Women's Championship, which is being held at Enfa Complex. And the full-time score is Bangladesh 3, India 1. And yes, it's the end of the broadcast for today. And we will be meeting you tomorrow at 3, day after tomorrow, I beg your pardon, with the last round of fixture where Bangladesh, India and Nepal will be playing in a 3pm three key, three kickoff at the Anfa Complex and Bangladesh will be playing against Bhutan in the final fixture which will be on the 8th of March. So up until then, it's me Avinav signing off for today. It's bye-bye and good night.